Time now for the morning rush. The driver who slammed into an Uber, killing two people, is now facing charges. The crash happened at the intersection of Pan American and Alameda in May. Christina Martinez and Robert Gallegos were killed in that crash. Now a grand jury has indicted the other driver, Joseph Urbanejo, for two counts of vehicular homicide and DWI. Chris. David, let's get a look at that forecast. Some changes as we head into the weekend. The high that's been to our north and west going to reposition itself and weaken over Texas. That is going to pull up some moisture thanks to that clockwise flow around it. These are the remnants of Tropical Storm Fernand. Going to see a good chance of showers and storms heading into Saturday and Sunday. Crystal. Albuquerque police are looking for two crooks who allegedly stole power tools from a church. It happened in July at the Calvary Church. Police say video captured 29 year old Joseph Corda and 44 year old Anna Duran stealing a $4,000 paint sprayer and then a garden tiller a few days later. A warrant is out for their arrest. This morning, a suspected drunk driver is accused of trying to bribe his way out of an arrest. State police officer pulled over 52 year old Jesus Uribe in Clovis. This was for an expired registration. And the officer says that Uribe had been drinking. After his arrest, you can hear Uribe offering the officer $500 to let him go. The officer, officer says that Uribe kept going, eventually offering him $1,000. Eight new executive orders are in effect this morning in Texas in an effort to prevent mass shootings. This comes after seven people were killed in Odessa, 22 people killed at a Walmart in El Paso. Texas governor is requiring an improved process of reporting information to authorities and requiring that the public be informed on how to report potential shooters. Meanwhile, new this morning, Walgreens is now joining the growing number of retailers asking customers to not openly carry weapons in their stores. Walmart and Kroger announced similar policies this week. The request follows increasing pressure on businesses to take action and ward off potential mass shootings at stores and workplaces. New numbers from the state shows more than 30 patients have sought out a medical marijuana card to treat opioid addiction. Opioid addiction was added as a treatable condition back in June. New Mexico is just one of nine states that includes this type of condition to qualify for a medical marijuana card. Albuquerque Mayor Tim Keller has a new account on Twitter this morning, this time in Spanish. The Twitter handle is called Alcalde Keller. Now, Alcalde in Spanish means mayor. Now, the, the account is going to be typically sharing the same news and updates that are available on the mayor's English account. David, let's get a look at that Metro Threat Index. It is low today, added to expecting warm to hot temperatures this afternoon. Make sure you're staying hydrated out there. Going to remain dry as well. Crystal. State health officials say to be on the lookout for mumps. Officials are investigating six cases in Bernalillo County with ages ranging from 7 to 41. Mumps is highly contagious and is spread through the air or by saliva and mucus from an infected person. The disease is preventable with vaccinations. City officials in Belen say that a local baseball complex has now been invaded by hundreds of gophers. Two baseball fields at Eagle Park in Belen remain locked up and covered in gopher holes. Now, the park was built on an old glass dump. Now shards of glass are seen scattered about. The city is removing the gophers and hoping to have the park open in the next two months. We're looking ahead for you. You could soon see wine tasting rooms and tap houses pop up around Old Town. City Council passed a proposal that allows tap rooms and wine tasting rooms to be set up in Old Town with a special permit. Bars and clubs, you're still not allowed. Looking ahead to next week, Albuquerque Animal Welfare will help you find your lost pets. Now, the shelter says they're going to be offering free microchipping for all Albuquerque pet owners. Now, the offer runs from September 10th through the 15th at the West Side and East Side shelters. You must be at least 18 years old and have a valid driver's license. No appointments are necessary. City of Albuquerque will soon closely monitor the terms of their deals with outside hires. In seven of the eight vendor audits done since 2016, the city found it had been overbilled, at times overcharged by tens of thousands of dollars. The director of finance now says some departments will get more training and software updates. Automakers say that they are now committed to reducing hot car debts in the next five years. 20 automakers, including Ford, Toyota, and Honda, they have all promised to install rear seat reminder features in cars and trucks. Now, the features include audio and visual prompts that will activate once the car is turned off. Balloon Fiesta officials are looking for people to keep the event safe. They're looking to hire people to be its eyes and ears at the park as hundreds gather to watch balloons take flight. No prior experience is needed. You can find a link to apply on our website. That's krqe.com. Chris. Crystal, let's get a look at that morning drive. Roads are looking pretty good out there. Everything flowing nicely along I-25 as well as I-40. No major slowdowns being reported. You're taking a live look at News Tracker heading south on I-25 near Candelaria. David.
Facebook has a new matchmaking service called Dating. It's now available here in the U.S. It allows anyone 18 or older with a Facebook account to set up a dating profile from the Facebook mobile app. Users can pull in photos posted to their Facebook and Instagram all to their new dating profile. Welcome back. Time now for the five facts. We start with number five here. Some are calling it a miracle. This morning, an investigation is underway into how a cat was shot as veterinarians nurse Vespa back to health. The sweet cat on the road to recovery after Good Samaritan found him shot in the face, but amazingly still alive. The cost to save Vespa's life was going to be a steep one. That was until Animal Welfare put out a plea for help and Dr. Chris Bannon stepped up, removed part of his jaw, saving his life without charging a dime. As Vespa continues to heal, Animal Welfare says they will soon start looking for his new home. For details, go to our website, krqe.com. At number four, new health warning out this morning. State health officials say to be on the lookout for mumps. Officials are investigating six cases of mumps in Bernalillo County with ages ranging from 7 to 41. Now, mumps is highly contagious and spread through the air, saliva, or mucus on, uh, from an infected person. Health officials say the disease is preventable with vaccinations. And coming in at number three, some good news for the weekend. Changes in that forecast says that high that's been keeping us dry and hot kind of shifts off over Texas. That pulls up some good moisture into New Mexico and southern Colorado. A good shot of afternoon storms both Saturday and Sunday. And number two, somber news this morning. A music festival in Taos will honor one of his performers who died in a three-car crash. Rising country music artist Kylie Ray Harris was killed Wednesday night on State Road 522. Harris was set to play at the Michael Hearns 17th Annual Big Barn Dance Music Festival taking place through the weekend. The founder of the festival says that they're now dedicating this year's show to Harris. The second driver, a 16-year-old girl, also died at the scene. The third driver was okay. Now, the sheriff's office says one of the drivers may have been drinking. Harris leaves behind a six-year-old daughter. Number one, now this morning, Albuquerque police are searching for two crooks caught on camera stealing heavy-duty power tools from a church. Police say in late July, video captured the man and woman stealing a $4,000 paint sprayer from Calvary Church. Days later, detectives say the same couple came back to steal a garden tiller worth several hundred dollars. The church was able to get its tools back from a local pawn shop, but police are still looking for the suspects. They say they are 29-year-old Joseph Gordova and 44-year-old Anna Duran. Both face multiple burglary-related charges.